hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to discuss about uh, how to create this uh, water bottle so uh, this water bottle I get the design from the Adidas which is uh, is quite simple shape and is perfect example for you guys which is uh, at the beginner level so let's get started so we are uh, starting using to insert the canvas from the picture I found this picture and the link is uh, down below and put it at the front uh, view or front sketch and you can arrange the and calibrate the size using the calibrate command and then the height is 200 millimeters and then reposition again the canvas to put the original at the bottom center of the uh, bottle and after that all this uh, placement is correct so we can start the new sketch to create the line and then this line I create the uh, at the bottom is for the reference of the position to ensure this canvas is at the center point of the uh, rotation of the sketch Okay, I reposition again to fine tune that uh, this sketch is at the position uh, correctly. Okay. Okay, after that we start to create the sketch I do a line here and then continue to the up so I did a purpose that uh, between the cap and the body is uh, together so ensure this the transition at the lips is uh, smooth enough Okay, and after that I create a rotation using the axis at the center. Okay. Oh I left a small part of the sketch. It's not intended that should be like that. Okay, I'm joining the line. Then uh, okay it's good enough. Then I create a sketch again at the plane, front plane and I will sketch the grooving over there at the here okay I use a spline as a position this groove and then make sure I close the line using the line close the spline here okay I'm adjusting the control point to make sure fit enough to the sketch okay and then after that um, yeah close okay then extrude I will do an extrusion using symmetric plane okay and then yeah I'm choosing the all for the extrusion okay I'll hit ok and then I will continue with the uh, mirroring or oh, before mirror I do the uh, fillet with the variable radius fillet okay uh, make sure that you pick the yeah, the green dot is indicated at the center at the start point at the middle like that and also give the value yeah I 
will put a uh, roughly of a of a that one this point here okay and then you can adjust the position as you like okay and then fill the fillet uh, radius accordingly Okay, you can also adjust the shape to make it fit with the uh, canvas picture. Okay, there. Yeah, basically this uh, fillet value you can adjust and they will show the result and do the mirror using the face just click the face part of it and then use the YZ plane as a mirror plane okay. and then add another fillet over there okay Okay, use the yeah. Okay, I think the value twenty is enough. Okay, hit OK, and then add at the bottom. Use five. Okay. Yeah, I think it's uh, good enough. And over there, maybe I will use five or that part is not tall enough so I will edit the uh, sketch here okay yeah okay so fit enough to the canvas okay I will create the separation between the body and the cap using the offset okay I will offset plane over there Okay, 172 I guess, okay, yeah. And then use the split body. Click the body, click the splitting tool. Okay, and then hit OK. They will separate into two body. Body one, rename it with the bottom body. And then the upper, okay, sorry, typo, bottom, okay. And then the top is a cap. Okay. okay and then I uh, will add this feature here so I need to project the line here and make it a construction line and then at the middle I create and continue to the shape here according to the canvas Okay. 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 I'll adjust a little bit. And oh, I forgot to add the line at the below. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So after that, use the revolution, revolution, and click join, and then add another fillet to those edges in the sharp edges okay, I will use 0 0.5 and add another fillet over there over there over there 0 0.5 as well and also at the bottom maybe the bottom will be uh, big enough to make it bigger I mean okay use one okay yeah, I think it's a good enough okay and then uh, yeah, I will also have a fillet over there, 0 0.5, to separate the lips here between the cap and the body. Okay, I add another fillet over there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 
think it's good enough. <coughs> okay, perfect. And then for the Adidas logo, uh, you can download the CSV file, CVG, sorry, CV, SVG, SVG file. I already download, and then the download link will be at the description below. And then put the shape over there that's a uh, vertical flip and you can adjust and also you can scale up accordingly to the logo here maybe roughly not too perfect roughly will be good enough for this particular example okay and then just click ok so the good thing about SVG file is they are already have a factor so when you want to extrude but this one okay maybe i have to edit sometimes yeah that one so you can uh, automatically do the extrusion or etc but this one maybe we have to fix it because there's some missing factor here so those line those line and also that okay over there so we can do the i is still missing s and also the r still missing okay our x edit okay, so this is the i i will try to use the rectangle probably to create this uh, i letter yeah maybe use a rectangle and then delete that unnecessary line and okay line up with the upper line over there and then click the R okay things are good enough and then do the extrusion to the all of the logo here okay and then you use the start point of the from object this is the object and then use 0.5 if you want to cut or emboss or if you use the join so you can flip the value will be 0.5 okay minus 0 0.5 i think minus 0 0.5 is good here okay okay perfect good and then uh, this logo I also can create a circular pattern to that one and then the axis will be the center of Z axis the number quantities too okay good Okay, don't forget to save your file. Okay, save it. And then I will try to create the image for rendering. Oh, that one is still missing. The embossed part of the cap. Okay. So maybe I will use the create a sketch. Uh, uh, from the front point and then I will try to uh, yeah project cut that one that one as well so there is a line and I will offset okay uh, yeah I will use the offset command S minus 0 0.5 more, more of 0 0.4 yeah I think the white voice good and then mm, okay I will use the wait let me think okay I will I will get a line here so basically here is I just want to create a path which is uh, 
re indicate the grooving over there so that path will be as my path for the I uh, comment so I will create that line again here and then okay and then that one will be as a construction line okay the put of the reference so I will use the pipe command on this particular pipe okay then cut so the diameter will be one I think is good enough and then I put the fillet over there and here as well okay I will try to create another fillet on the outside I think it's not work yeah there's an error let's try with a different fillet no it's not working so I will give the fillet separately okay so this is the yeah it's working okay 0 0.5 I think it's a good enough okay okay after that we can pattern the emboss over there okay create the pattern circular pattern using the feature click the feature don't forget to click the fillet as well and then the number is 8 okay yeah it's good perfect okay save again okay I think it's uh, all done for the shape and then go to the render environment and click the appearance to change I will use the yeah maybe this uh, plastic for the body and then for the cap maybe I will use the powder coat so if there is an indication like uh, arrow don't arrow it mean that uh, this particular material is not yet uh, downloaded so you have to wait to download and then you just click the render button in canvas render to see what's the result okay so maybe I will add another for the logo okay I will use the face to apply in the face you just cl click and drag all the material over there okay that you like so I will use this red color to make a good bright okay and as well as the particular logo over there okay okay I think it's uh, good enough you can explore more about the rendering and then uh, after you render you will get this uh, picture this is I taken the render with the uh, my setting which have the SDR okay and okay that's it for this tutorial today and then don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below bye bye